this is now six weeks that I have been sojourning these areas that are most secluded because of the condition of the roads and people have sought to come to do their illegal dumping here. It is heart-wrenching that the mango of landfill is just three minutes away and people have come thus far to dump coconut shells, construction material, old clothing, household appliances they no longer need. Actually when we were here this morning, now we are here. A man just came by with all his old iron and everything in his car to dump it. And because he sees that the media personnel are here with me, he has turned around. That does not mean he wouldn't come back. Is this what we have given free education for with so many millions upon millions of dollars? Educating the public about reaching out, touching, changing the culture of things and the way we do things for the betterment. All of this illegal dumping will impact on the environment. And when it goes into the water system, into the aquifers, who will suffer? All the Barbadians and those among us who have to use the pipe to water and all the other things that we have to have. I am saddened because only two weeks ago, may I please laud the efforts of the Honorable Adrian Ford when I called him from over in, for over in box where the condition was that bad, leading into the same mango of landfill, he brought his team, they cut down the bush, they also removed the, 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 the debris. I went there again yesterday evening, more debris, especially construction material, dead pig, old clothing, old fridge, old stove, they are all in box again. Hyman's Hill has not been spared with the mattresses and all that. Stony Gully has not been spared with the illegal dumping. And if we go to other communities across uh, Jack in the Box and so on, we see it. What is happening to our well-educated people, we say, and the culture that they have developed for nearness and fullness. As far as I know, you don't know, you're no longer paid tipping fee. So the mango of landfill is open to take that kind of material. I am saddened at this start of the new year that we have to undergo this kind of pressure and sadness over people who only think about themselves and no one else. And therefore, I want to thank you all again profusely for coming this morning because the only way the rest of Barbados will know that the heart of Barbados St. Thomas is becoming another dumping area and it is impacting on the lives of all Barbadians.